transmission lines problems on reflection quotient series on transmission line theory lecture number 2.11 reflection quotient is an important parameter in transmission line theory voltage reflection quotient is there current reflection quotient is there these two are related in addition to reflection quotient there also exists transmission quotient the definitions of all these quotients they are already given available in uh, another uh, session video session in the present session we consider some problems which are set on <coughs> the definitions of uh, reflection quotients and transmission quotient to begin with we consider a problem at a point over a uniform line incident wave voltage and currents are given and those due to reflected wave are given determine voltage and current reflection quotients and also characteristic impedance of the line also mention whether the line is lossless or lossy solution voltage reflection quotient is voltage in the reflected wave by voltage in the incident wave at that point so voltage in the <coughs> reflected wave is this one voltage in the incident wave is this one so 10 by 50 with their angles we have to consider it is 0 0.2 angle is 0 0.15 this is a voltage reflection quotient current reflection quotient current reflection quotient is current in the reflected wave by current in the incident wave current in the reflected wave is 0 0.133 angle this angle and current in the incident wave is 0. 0.667 angle 0 0.35 you have to consider this two so <clears throat> by considering we will be getting the same thing 0 0.2 angle 0 0.15 okay not not that it is uh, equal to minus i reflected by i incident current rc is found as minus 0 0.2 angle 0 0.15 volts note basically idea is this voltage reflection quotient is equal to negative of current reflection quotient voltage reflection quotient is voltage in the reflected wave by voltage in the incident wave current reflection quotient is current in the reflected wave by current in the incident wave these two quotients are they differed in sign polarity. This is basic uh, point around which this problem is set. It is verified that current RC is the ratio of current in the reflected wave to current in the incident wave. Also negative of voltage reflection quotient. The characteristic impedance is uh, Z0 is uh, B incidence by I incidence. Voltage in the incident wave by current in the incident wave gives characteristic impedance v incidence is known i incidence is known substitution results in 75 angle 15 ohms note that uh, actually it is uh, it should be 0 0.15 here it is 0 0.15 angle is 0 0.15 z naught is v incidence by i incidence or minus V reflected by I reflected. That is the ratio of uh, voltages and currents. Did not. Characteristic impedance is found as a 75, 15 volts. It is verified that characteristic impedance is equal to negative of ratio of voltage to current ratio in the reflected wave. A 75 ohm lossless line has a voltage in its forward wave. The RC is found as 1, 0 0.3. This is angle at that point. Find voltage and currents of the total wave. Now, voltage in the reverse wave is, voltage in the reverse wave, V reflected is, reflection quotient multiplied by V incidence. Reflection quotient is available, V incidence is available, multiplication gives V reflected wave. Current in the forward wave is, I incident is V incidence by Z0, because V incidence by I incidence is Z0. Z0 is available. So, I incidence is also now available. Current in the reverse wave is, I reflected is minus gamma multiplied by I incident, I incidence, because current reflection quotient is negative of voltage reflection quotient. So, using that uh, this, uh, point, I reflected can be computed. 
gamma is available i instance is available so multiplication leads to 0.8 angle minus 2.642 amperes total voltage is the sum of voltages in the instant and reflected dose so therefore v is v instance plus v reflected addition gives total voltage similarly total current is also sum of currents in the instant and reflected waves it results in total current in the Wave. Another problem, a 50 plus J 0.2 ohm line is terminated on a load of impedance A 75 plus J 50 ohms and 75 minus J 50 ohms. Determine RC and transmission quotient over the load. First RC. RC over the load is ZL minus Z0 by ZL plus Z0. This is standard formula. Here ZL is uh, given, Z0 is also given, substitution and a little bit of manipulation gives gamma L. Now transmission quotient is 2ZL by ZL plus Z0. This is also standard expression. ZL is known, available, Z0 is available. Substitution gives certain value for transmission quotient 2. As a cross check, one can do cross check, 1 plus gamma L is T. This is cross check, we can find them equal. Same. Another cross check is ZL by Z0 into 1 minus gamma L square is equal to T square. This is also another cross check. This, this way also one can find. Now B. Again same. ZL is different from A. In A ZL is 75 plus J50. Here it is 75 minus J50 ohms. Substitution gives gamma L and T. Cross check can be done as done in case of A and can be found same. Another problem, a 2 meter long 100 ohm lossless line operated at a frequency 175 megahertz is terminated over load 200 minus J30 volts. When the wave velocity is 200 meters per microsecond, determine electrical length of the line RC over the load end and also at the input end of the line electrical length it is a dimensionless quantity is a physical length in terms of wavelengths that is length physical length in meters divided by wavelength in meters l by lambda is electrical length wavelength is ratio of wave velocity to frequency so lambda is v by f so electrical length becomes l f by v l is known to us frequency is given velocity is also given 200 meters per microsecond. The substitution ultimately results in electrical length equal to 1.75. It is a dimensionless quantity. Note, Le is dimensionless. The RC over the load is, of course, this is a standard expression. Gamma L is ZL minus Z0 by ZL plus Z0. The substitution gives certain value that is 0 0.346 angle minus 0 0.20. Now, we are asked to find out RC over the load end. Of course, that thing we computed and also at the input end of the line. RC at the input end of the line can be computed from RC or gamma at the load end using this relation. That is gamma S equal to gamma L e power minus J 2 beta L. So, beta is required for us or 2 beta L. 2 beta L is 2, 2 pi by lambda L. This is uh, 4 pi Le. Le is available, it is 1.75. So ultimately what we have is 2 beta L is 3.142 radians. Now we can, gamma L is available, 2 beta L is available. Substitution gives gamma S at the source end or input end of the line. Another problem example we consider. A 10 meter long uniform line working at 10 megahertz has a characteristic impedance 40 minus J2 ohms and a propagation constant 0 0.01 plus J 0 0.18 per meter. Determine wavelength and RC over the load when sending and impedance is 60 angle 0 0.2 ohms and over the sending end when receiving and impedance is 60 0 0.2 ohms. So, let us jump into the solution process. From the given value of propagation constant, the phase shift constant can be found as 0 0.18 radians per meter. This is propagation constant. This is beta 0 0.18. Wavelength therefore is 2 pi by lambda. Lambda is known, 2 pi by lambda means it becomes 34.90 meters. So wavelength, it is found once for all. Now RC, RC over the load, RC 
receive over the sending hand. RC over the load with ZS given how to find out. RC at the source end. First we calculate RC at the source end. RC at the source end is gamma S is ZS minus Z0 by ZS plus Z0. ZS is known, Z0 is known. So gamma S within no time one can find out. From gamma S that is reflection quotient for the source or at the input end gamma L that is a reflection quotient over the load it can be computed using this relation. So here alpha is attenuation constant, beta is phase shift constant, theta is angle of gamma S. Gamma S angle is 0 minus 0 0.345. Gamma S magnitude is 0 0.213. Substitution and a little bit of manipulation using calculator results in gamma L equal to 0 0.260 at an angle 3.255. Quite simple. Similarly, B, B is also procedure is same. We are asked to find out sending end gamma over the sending end when receiving end impedance is ZL60 at an angle of 0 0.2. So here what we have to do is first we determine gamma L using ZL minus Z0 by ZL plus Z0. Once gamma L is available, gamma S can be computed within no time. So gamma L, first we determine gamma L. ZL is available, Z0 is available. This is gamma L. Gamma S from gamma L can be computed using this relation. Here gamma L is magnitude of uh, uh, gamma L, uh, gamma theta L is its angle, alpha plus J beta. It is from Propagation constant 0 0.01 plus j 0 0.18. Substitution and uh, a little bit of manipulation gives gamma s equal to 0 0.192 at an angle of minus 3.066. Another problem, a 500 megahertz lossy coaxial cable has the following primary constants RL, GC, all are given. Determine RC at source end input impedance of uh, 10 meter long cable when terminated over a load of 10 ohms. Now RC at the source can be found using this relation gamma s equal to gamma l e power minus 2 gamma l. Mm -hmm. Here this uh, this gamma is reflection quotient, this gamma is propagation constant. Now this computation thus requires Z0 gamma L gamma propagation constant which can be found from the given values of primary constants. Gamma L one can compute, gamma C also one can compute because frequency is available, L is given, C is given. Now from omega L, omega C one can compute, Z one can compute Y. Once these two things are available, characteristic impedance can be computed within no time. Once Z0 is available, Z0 is available, how to proceed? Under load terminated condition with ZL equal to 10 ohms, ZL equal to 10 ohms, RC over the load is this is standard formula. Gamma L is ZL minus Z0 by ZL plus Z0. Substitution results in gamma L equal to 0 0.818 at an angle of 3.14. Propagation constant is square root of ZY. It gives uh, 0 0.025 plus J 31.42 per meter. In further calculations, the value of product 2 gamma L is required. This can be found, 2 gamma L can be found from 2 into 31.4 to this one. 1 1.57, L is 10 and all that we can do, it results in 2 gamma L equal to 0 0.50 plus J 628, 628.40. Hence 2 alpha L, this is 2 alpha L, 0 0.50 nepers and this is 2 beta L which is 628.40 radians. Of course, ultimately it is zero radians. With the availability of all the quantities required, RC at the source can be found. Of course, this relation gamma s equal to gamma l e power minus 2 gamma l. Substitution results in 0 0.50 angle 3.14. The input impedance of the line then can be calculated as Z in is Z naught 1 plus gamma s by 1 minus gamma s. Once gamma s is available, Z in can be found using this relation. It comes out uh, to be 33.33 at an angle of 0. So these are some of the problems. These are composed. These are designed these are set around uh, to illustrate um, basic features fundamental ideas that are lying with the definition of reflection quotient enough for now mm -hmm.